First question is from Luke Johnson with The Advocate. Hey, Ian, welcome. Um, uh, just curious uh, if the Saints had been uh, in uh, contact with you throughout this process. I, you know, a lot of guys have said they, they haven't heard a lot from them, but we've kind of heard your name involved with them a couple of times. Yep, I was able to have some great meetings, um, you know, with the Saints and definitely felt like it was a spot, you know, that, you know, it was a good spot for me and somewhere I could, you know, go in and compete. And, you know, we had good meetings over Zoom and, um, you know, I was just crossing my fingers, you know, any was really hoping, you know, for any team, but this is just an unbelievable spot for me. I think I have a great opportunity and um, I did have some meetings with them in the past, you know, on Zoom. And I think, um, you know, we were able to create a good relationship going forward. Sean Fazan, WVUE. Uh, hey, Ian, um, just what is your, I guess, excitement level of joining a, a team like the Saints and a head coach like Sean Payton, an offensive mind? Uh, very excited. My heart is still pounding. Um, you know, it's such a surreal moment, something I've dreamed of for such a long time, and just to be here and, uh, you know, get this call, um, you know, with my family and, and everybody here in town. It's everything I've wanted, you know, for such a long time. You know, I started playing football in eighth grade and been wanting to play in the NFL for, you know, since then. So just so excited, um, excited to, you know, celebrate with my family tonight and really, you know, just enjoy this night for forever and make this, you know, one of the biggest memories of all time. And, but after that, you know, after tonight, um, it's all, it's ready, I'm time, it's uh, ready to go to work and uh, just get started. And I'm so excited to get down there and, and, you know, work with Sean Payton and everybody, QBs, everybody just start working you know, working with the offense and, um, you know, getting some chemistry going and competing and, and having fun. I, I seriously cannot wait. Amy Jeff, the advocate. Hi, congrats, Ian. Uh, welcome to New Orleans. Um, Thank you. How would you describe yourself as a player and as a person for those who haven't necessarily watched a lot of your film yet? Yeah, someone who's, you know, really determined and, and just at the end of the day wants to win. That's the reason I play quarterback you know, from day one in third grade, it was to play QB, have the ball, you know, in my hands at all times and distribute it, you know, to all the playmakers. And at the end of the day, win football games. That's what I've tried to do in my whole entire life. And um, that, that, that's who I am. I'm a winner, competitor. You know, I'm, I'm not going to get down. I'm going to stay up. And honestly, the biggest thing I always tell myself is just make everybody else around me better. That's what I want to do and um, put points up on the board. That's my job. So I'm going to do that every way I can. And, um, Honestly, just someone who loves football, who's, who's happy and loves to go out there and compete every single day. Rod Walker, the Times pick you. Hey, Ian, congrats to you. Um, I, I guess one of the knocks on you was that people thought you were undersized, and obviously the Saints have. <laughs> I lost you there for a second. Right. Can you hear me now? Can you guys turn your Wi Fi off? I'm can sorry. You? Can you start that over? Can you hear me now? Yep, I can hear you. Okay. One of the knocks against you, I guess, was that people thought some people thought you were undersized, and obviously the Saints have had a pretty good quarterback who had that same, um, you know, perception about him. But how did you kind of overcome that, and and what do you say to critics who who think that? Yeah, that's just been the story my whole entire life. You know, I've always had a chip on my shoulder. You know, I'm not getting any taller, and um, it's the same thing every single time. Drew Brees has been able to do it. There's many other quarterbacks that can go down the list that have been able to do it. Um, you know, we all have a similar playing style. Um, but the, I feel like the league's changing and you don't have to be six, five anymore and, and you can make it work. And that's what I plan on doing. And, you know, once you're out there, you forget, it doesn't matter. You know, you're as tall as you're going to be and you're out there playing football the way you've been playing it your whole entire life. So nothing's changing for me. I'm just going to go out there and give it all, you know, give it my all 110%, you know, every day, day in and day out. And, um, that's just, that's just the player I am. You know, I got a chip on my shoulder and I'm just here to prove, you know, the people in my circle right. You know, I don't want to prove anybody wrong. You're always going to hear the, the doubters and the naysayers. But that's the game we play, and that's the position that I play. So not worried about it at all. Just excited to get to work with the team. Have you, have you had a chance to talk to Drew at all? Um, I have not. You know, he just went to Notre Dame. You know, he's going to do broadcasting there. So I missed him by a season there. But, you know, we'd love to, we'd love to talk to him and, you know, obviously pick his brain about everything. Just a reminder, if you have a question, please put it in the chat. Doug Mouton, WWL-TV. Yeah, uh, congrats again. Look, you said uh, a good spot for you. What, what specifically is it about the Saints or Sean Payton or New Orleans? What is it about this spot that maybe is a little different than some of the other teams that, that you thought might take? 
Yeah, I just think it's Coach Payton and, you know, the offense there. And obviously, I think it's huge that Drew Brees was, was, there, was there for as long as he was doing what he was doing. You know, we're different players, but we're similar in stature. And he proved to everybody down there and in the world that he could do it. And I want to do the same thing. And I just feel like I fit in that system well. And, um, you know, those are big shoes to fill. There's no doubt about it. But that's exciting. That's an exciting challenge for me. And I think it's just that system and, um, you know, what Drew has done. You know, a lot of times, you know, get comparisons, you know, that Drew Brees or, you know, someone similar in stature. So that's exciting for me. That's, that's you know, huge shoes to fill. And that's exciting for me. That's exactly what I want to go do. Wait, one more thing, if you don't mind. Uh, look, you've seen what Sean has done with his backup quarterbacks, especially with Taysom Hill in the last few years. Are you willing to do anything? Or, or do you see yourself, if you're not starting that quarterback, being a backup quarterback and, and not? Yeah. Uh, I'll do anything to help the team, you know, whatever that is. That's, that's why they pick me is to, is to, to be better and um, I'll do whatever they want to do. So, you know, I'm going to go in there and work hard and um, honestly it, it's up to them, but I'm going to work, you know, day in and day out to be the best player that I can be and make everybody else around me better. And, um, you know, I'll do whatever they think is best. Brett Martell, the Associated Press. Hey there, Ian. Uh, congrats again. So you started to address this a little, but, I just wondered if you can put this selection in the context of being the first quarterback selected or even brought in by this franchise, really, since the retirement of uh, Drew Brees. Yeah, uh, true honor, honestly. It's, it's surreal. You know, I, I don't really know how I feel right now. So I, haven't even, I don't think it's even set in, really. So it's um, everything I've ever dreamed of. And, you know, I know that I'm just happy that they all believed in me and, you know, took that chance to pick me. So... You know, I want to prove those people right because, uh, you know, that's what I'm here to do is compete and just get out there and, and have fun and do as much as I can to, to help out this this organization. That's what I'm going to do and, and put it all out there. And it's, uh, it's unbelievable. You know, I'm happy that they chose me and you know, I want to prove all of them right for, for making the right decision. Michelle Dapper, KCRA TV. And congrats. Uh, just what is, what's the journey been like from Oak Ridge High School, the support along the way from the Sacramento region, Sacramento Proud, uh, just talk to me about how many texts and, and emails, calls, whatever you received and the support out this way and just the journey from playing in the, under the lights at Oak Ridge High. Yeah, it's been awesome. Unbelievable journey. Um, just starting going to Oak Ridge and being able to play three seasons there, being able to get recruited and go to Notre Dame. A lot of doubters. No one thought I'd ever play there. Just to be able to be named a two-time captain, you know, never lose one game at home and make it to the playoffs twice has been a dream come true. It's everything I wanted. And then just to get drafted by the Saints, it's, it's unbelievable. Um, it, it's starting to set in right now, and I just, I'm just i just very thankful and um, very appreciative. And uh, just coming all the way, you know, from California, I'm just so excited to, you know, to go to go down there and get to work. And it's just been an unbelievable journey, and I um, I feel like it's it's starting over right now, right today, and we'll start this new journey into the NFL. And, you know, I can't wait. I, I seriously cannot wait. And the support's been unbelievable. My, my phone's going off right now. Uh, a lot of people calling and texting excited and um, I'm just excited to be able to see some family tonight. And um, it's been a while, you know, I haven't been home since June. So I'll be really pumped to see everybody and just, you know, I got a good, a good, uh, a good group behind me supporting me throughout this whole entire journy. And, you know, tonight will be awesome to be able to celebrate with them tonight. We're so proud of you. Oh, go ahead. Michelle. Nope. Just saying that we're so proud over here in California. Thanks Ian. Thank you. Thank you. Luke Johnson, the advocate. Yeah, when when you guys are, are are meeting with uh with like the Saints and you're doing a bunch of that stuff in the pre-draft process, like are they are they talking to you about football? Or are they trying to get a sense of you as a person? Is it a little bit of both? How, how would you kind of describe that? Yeah, definitely a little bit of both. I feel like the first meeting, you know, it's it's different with Zoom. They would love to meet you in person, but they can't, you know. So the first one, they just want to, you know, some teams just want to dive right into football. Some teams want to get to know you as a person a little bit. I think that was huge with uh, what the senior bowl was able to bring to the table this year. Uh, same thing, you know, they're actually able to see you in person, probably the, the only time in this whole entire draft process that they were actually able to see you in person. But, um, and then they dive into football, you know, after they get to know you as much as they can over a computer, they dive into football. They want to know, especially for quarterbacks, everything that you know, you know, they want to know, um, you know, how much football knowledge and IQ do you know? And um, they, were, they were really fun. I really enjoyed them. You know, you, you do a little bit of your playbook, they do a little bit of theirs you know, and um, try to remember everything that they said. And then you teach the plays back to them. It was, it was a really fun process. I really did enjoy it. And just being able to talk ball with, you know, a bunch of coaches um, 
you know, GM, scouts, whatever it may be, was, it was a dream come true. I really had a fun time with it. And last question, Nick Underhill, New Orleans football. Ian, did you uh, work with anyone, like a, a private QB coach for draft prep? And if so, who was it? And what were some of the things you focused on? Um, so <clears throat> I worked with this guy named Will Hewlett. He's been my quarterback coach for a long time now. And I also worked with a guy named Craig Nall. So I worked with Will, but Will was in Florida when I was at, actually training in Texas at MJP. So Will did come out for a week, but when he was gone, you know, he put me in touch with uh, a guy named Craig Nall and was able to work with him. And they have similar uh, teaching philosophies. So it, it was awesome. I was able to work with them. I've been working with Will since, you know, I think um, probably my eighth grade eighth grade football season. So I've been working with him for a super long time. Uh, he's somebody I trust and work with mechanics on and footwork and all these things. And he's someone I plan on working with for a long time. So he is far away and we try to, you know, get together as much as we can. And uh, he's done an unbelievable job. Last one for Ed Daniels. He had a couple of questions. Uh, were you aware, did you and Craig Nall talk about the whole Louisiana thing with him being in, uh, starting out at LSU? And LSU. Yeah, yes, and sir, two... And two, the second question is, how much confidence did your performance in the bowl game against LSU give you as a quarterback that you could compete on this level? Yeah. Uh, first thing with Craig, yeah, we definitely – we talked about his whole journey. And, you know, he has an unbelievable journey. You know, he was – I think he was at LSU and then he left, I believe, right? And um, – Yes. Ended up playing in the NFL for a long time. You know, played behind Brett Favre and had a great career. And um, – now he's doing a good, great job with the Elite 11 and doing private coaching as well. And he's someone that I met through this process and, and taught me a lot and um, really enjoyed my time with him. And uh, oh, the second question, oh, LSU at Sixers Bowl. That, that, was, that was a huge boost in confidence for me. You know, we were going to that game. We were going to split reps, QBs. And I went in the second quarter. I didn't end up coming out, played the rest of that game and, and won, you know, on New Year's Day with the last second one-handed catch. And that just gave me momentum going to that next year, knowing, you know, I can do this thing. I'm here for a reason. I was recruited at Notre Dame for a reason. And, um, you know, I'm here to make plays. I'm here to play. And I want to be the starter for a long time. I remember telling myself that right right after that game. And it was just a boost of confidence. I just felt that much more comfortable coming into it, you know, those following years. And uh, I'll never forget that game ever. You know, just that last second one-handed catch is, you know, I still watch that video every once in a while. So it still gives me goosebumps. Thank you. Yep, Ian, thank thanks you. so much for joining us, man. Congratulations once again. Awesome. Thank you very much.